Wonderful good day, ladies and gentlemen, out of Munich, out of our studios here, Commodity TV, and we want to present today Balmoral Resources for you. High Grade Canadian Gold is the title of the presentation of Balmoral. Right team, right place, right grade. The company has an experienced management and exploration team who have demonstrated success in this environment. The core assets located what is recognized industry-wide as one of the most favorable mining jurisdictions on the planet. Quebec, in Canada of course. The host ABTP Greenstone Belt is a major hub of M&A activity in the gold sector. Balmoral controls 100% over more than 600 square kilometers of the least explored portion of the ABTP. They have multiple expanding high-grade plus 5 gram per ton gold discoveries within one of only a very few new gold systems identified made in the world-class ABTP Greenstone Belt in recent years. They won the 2013 Prospectors of the Year in Quebec for their Detour Trend Discoveries. Most important, the company is well financed, active and of course drilling. The team around Darren Wagner who is President and CEO and a geologist uh, is well experienced. He was the co-founder and President and CEO of West Timmins Mining and sold it to Lakeshore Gold for $424 million. He is a veteran geologist with 25 years international experience with major and junior companies, like, for example, Max Silver. The ABTP Greenstone Belt is the most prolific gold belt in North America. Balmoral's flagship Detour Gold Trend Project and N1N2 properties are located in the ABTP region of the Canadian province of Quebec. The ABTP Greenstone Belt is home of the second largest accumulation of high-grade gold deposits on the planet. The gold deposits within the ABTP occur along major regional scale faults and are re-owned for their tremendous vertical continuity and very high average gold grades. And here locates Balmoral's Detour Gold Trend Project. It is a 80 plus kilometer long land position and centered on the high-grade Martinier gold system. Balmoral holds a 100% interest in all but 18 claims across the entirety of the Detour Gold Trend Project. Only three companies, including Balmoral and Detour Gold, are positioned for discoveries along the belt, with Balmoral controlling 80%. Let's talk about the Martinier Gold System. Balmoral owns 100% and it is a 3000 meter long open-ended gold system. Both major gold trends doubled by the winter 2013 program with at least two intersecting gold systems and looks like a Red Lake scenario. All trends and all zones remain open at shallow depths and all zones discovered to date come to the bedrock surface with a shallow start. Seven gold zones and multiple additional occurrences all in close proximity including eight new 2013 discoveries. The system was traced to date for approximately 2,700 meters and is open in all directions. Like most productive gold systems in the ABTP, the Martin Yair system shows a wide distribution of high-grade gold intercepts within a broad, well-mineralized corridor, including bonanza grade discoveries like the footwall discovery, with 273 grams of gold over nearly 4 meters and hanging wall with nearly 200 grams of gold over 1 meter. The drilling has traced both the Buck Lake and Martinier West zones, two vertical depths of approximately 300 meters below, which they remain still open. The Buck Lake Fault and Gold zones were, through the summer 2013 drill program, extended to over 1,000 meters. They found multiple high-grade gold-bearing structures centered around the Buck Lake Fault in a 100 to 120 meter wide mineralized corridor. The intersected bonanza grades in all zones and all zones remain open in all directions with the deepest intercept at 350 meters. Some highlights in the Buck Lake football zone are high bonanza grade and the gold zone located 40 to 50 meters into football west of the Buck Lake zone with values of 273 grams of gold per ton of course over 3 meter 88 and nearly 200 grams of gold over nearly 1 meter. Fantastic values also in the Buck Lake Hanging Wall Zone, with the high-grade zones located only 60 meters east in the Hanging Wall to the Buck Lake Zone and values of 195 grams of gold over 1 meter and 135 grams of gold over 70 centimeters, for example. The Martinier Gold Zone also showed fantastic values with up to 44 grams 
per ton of gold. The summer-fall 2013 exploration program focused on further delineation of the Martinier gold system. Extensive ground geophysical surveys discovered new large-scale anomaly in Martinier East area. Host to the ME16 gold zones with over 12 gram gold over 9 meters. In addition, they did 10 new gold discoveries outside the four principal zones with the potential to grow. In addition, they have the Grasset nickel target for gold and base metals. They found new gold, nickel, platinum group elements and VMS discoveries. With gold over 4 to 5 meters and over 6 grams per ton and a nickel discovery with over 9 meters at half a percent nickel and half a gram of the 3E, meaning platinum, palladium and gold, at a 1000 meter long untested EM conductor. The Grasset property is 20 kilometers long and home to less than 40 drill holes only and covers 20 kilometers of Sunday Lake and lower detour deformation zones. What is the shareholder structure of the company? Well, the issued shares are 98 million and fully diluted they have approximately 109 million shares out. The working capital stands at 9.5 million dollars approximately and the company has no debt. Management and insiders hold 12% of the company, which is a strong commitment and 32 institutions hold around 19%. The rest is based at retailers. What could drive the value of Barmol now? Continued growth of high-grade zones at Martinier and progression toward Maiden 43101 resource drilling underway. Expansion confirmation of numerous recent new discoveries with the Martinier gold system. Also here the drilling is underway. Upcoming drilling of Grasset, Nickel and PGE, Copper Target and new VMS discovery. Drilling is underway. We look forward to the results, of course. Further discoveries throughout the Detour Gold Trend project. Third-party funded joint venture on the company's North Shore project and potential to add active partners at N2 and N1. Continued review of property and corporate acquisition opportunities. Well, the company is well positioned and in the right place and right jurisdiction. The top management and a solid cash position enables them to work through their program in 2014. Of course, as usual, make your own due diligence and have a look at the company. Thanks for watching Commodity TV. Bye bye.